Yo, what's going on guys, man, and welcome back to another tutorial on this channel. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you guys a few music video effects within Premiere Pro using no external plugins. This is all within Premiere Pro, so um, it should be fairly simple to do. So let's get right into this tutorial. All right, guys, so we're in Premiere Pro. Um, but this first effect, we're going to be doing a flicker effect, which is really, really simple. When you're doing this flicker effect, you want to edit to the song or to the beat. It just it wouldn't make sense for me to do this effect and I'm not editing to the sound of the song. So I'm going to edit to the hi-hat of the song. So I already made a marker within this. So I'm just going to go right here. And this is where the hi-hat starts. You might not be able to hear it, but yeah, that's where the hi-hat starts. So I'm going to cut right here. Um, this is my clip on top and this is my clip on bottom. I'm just going to undo that one. So I'm just going to zoom in, hold option and zoom in on your mouse. So usually after like the hi hats is usually like a snare or a beat drop or something like that. And which is right here. So I'm going to cut right here. I'm not going to use this part. I'm going to delete that. So what I'm going to do now is hit C on my keyboard to bring out the razor tool. And I'm just going to go every frame. hit V for the selection tool. And now what I'm gonna do is just delete every other clip that I just selected to cut. And hit delete. So now I'm gonna go back and play it. It's that simple, that's how you do the flicker effect. Like I said, usually people just do it without um, an additional clip, just to have a flicker from black and like that. But I like to have it with the additional clip. It just makes the effect stand out a bit more in my opinion. So that's why I usually do two clips. And you can really mess around with this, man. There's no right or wrong way. You just gotta play around with it, just get creative. Um, but that is how you do the flicker effect within Premiere Pro, no external plugins, that simple. So this next one is going to be the flash effect. This is simple as well. So I'm just gonna zoom in here. I already made my mark. So this is where this is where the beat drops right here. You might not be able to hear it, but that's where the beat drops. You want to go to wherever the beat drops. Um, now you can do the left key on your keyboard five times. And that's what we want to do our mark, but you just can hold shift and then hold the left key and it does five frames. So that's a little shortcut to make it a little faster. And then hold shift, go back. And I'm going to cut and delete this. But that's where it's going to stop right there all right so now we got that we got it cut we got our marks um what we're going to do now is you're going to hold option on your keyboard and just drag this up to duplicate it then after that usually i just change the speed so if you hold command r um i want to do 200 for my speed just to make it a bit more intense so if you go back and play it nothing really changed besides the speed so um once we got that, we're going to go into the effects control and you want to change the blend mode to screen and you see that kind of makes it like a flash, but you kind of want to make it a little smooth transition. So what I'm going to do is one, I'm going to, well, this is my personal preference. It's not mandatory for this effect, but um, I'm going to increase the scale. I want to bring it to say 150 and you see how, because you have this at screen, um, and the clip is duplicated, it's like a double. Kind of like the ghosting effect, which we'll get into later. Um, but, and once you got that, you're gonna go to your effects tab and then type cross dissolve and just add that to the clip. And now it's a smooth transition because it's gonna fade in and fade out. And, that, and that's simple, that's how you do the flash effect. And like I said, um, you'll get the most out of this effect if you edit to the beat. I don't know if you guys can actually hear it, but the beat drops when the uh, clips change. It just makes it 10 times better. And I think when you increase the scale, it does make it look a little better. Um, it just complements the effect. So if I were to go back and change this to 100, which is the original, I mean, this still looks cool, but I don't think it's as intense compared to having it with a scale 150. 
it just adds that additional look to it which looks pretty cool and that is how you do the flash effect which is pretty simple looks pretty cool This next one is going to be the ghosting effect. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen this in music videos before. It's pretty much like, kind of like the flash effect, but without that flash, um, you're going to have two separate clips. Um, it's going to be duplicated and we're going to make it seem like a ghost is in the background essentially. So with this one, it's pretty simple. I already got my two clips right here. I'm just going to go here, hold shift again, then just hit the left key. I want to do four times. So one two three four which is 20 frames like i said if you hold shift and hold the left left or right arrow key it's just five frames so i'm going to do that four times to make it 20 frames so now i'm going to duplicate this clip and i'm going to adjust the speed of it so i want to do 200 this time and i'm going to play it back real quick i mean even that right there is can be a transition or an effect which is pretty cool but for ghosting what we're going to do now is i'm going to change the opacity to 50 percent and then i'm going to increase the scale to like 150 just to make it a little bit more dramatic so if i go back and play it back you see how it's like a ghost in the background essentially uh with the other clip on top and that's that's pretty much it it's that simple um with the ghosting effect but to make this a bit more intense what you guys can do is go over to the effects tab and type in arithmetic you want to drag this over to the clip that was duplicated um you want to change the operator to max i believe it's max yeah so um, what this does is it allows you to like change the RGB values like the reds, greens, and blues um, for whatever clip is selected. So with this one, I want to add the red. So I'm going to just jack this all the way up to 255. And if I were to take this off, you can see that the entire clip is red. But since it is at 50% uh, for the opacity, it, may, it gives it that look that you see now. So if I go and play this back now, it's just it makes it look 10 times better and even with the song the song was called pain so it just makes sense to have that red in there um this was a very cool shoot this is my last music video of 2019 that i shot uh, with trey cow yeah i really wish you could have got um more videos done man his music is good the energy is always there um so yeah i, I enjoy working with trey He's a real cool guy but yeah this is how you do the ghosting effect and if i were to take this red off it still works, but like I said, I think it just adds some bit more pop to it. It looks pretty cool with the red, so I'm gonna add that back. Or if you wanna do like green or blue, you can do blue, it's the same thing. And if I were to take this off, you see the whole clip is blue with that arithmetic on there. Um, but I think red looks better for this particular clip. And also all of these clips that I'm showing you guys, um, they were all shot on my old Sony camera, all shot in S-Log too. So that's why it kind of looks super unsaturated because I'm not going to go through and color grade these. I'm just kind of show you guys the effects for these music videos. If you want to make this a little better, you can add that flash in there. So I'm going to hold shift on my keyboard, go to left, cut this. And since it's already duplicated and it's already scaled up, I'm just going to take this arithmetic off, hit delete, and then I'm gonna go back and add the opacity back. So now I'm gonna change this to flash, or I'm sorry, to screen. And then remember to add the cross dissolve to make it uh, smooth, fade it out. So now we play it back, boom. So you got the ghosting effect combined with the flash. So you got like a two for one, which is pretty cool. All right, so moving on to the last one. This is going to be, um, I guess you want to call it like a zoom feather effect. I think this effect works best when you have the majority of your frame filled. So with this clip right here, you guys can see the artist's face is pretty much filling the entire of the frame. So I think this, uh, this effect works best when you have a shot like this. So I'm just gonna cut anywhere. I'm gonna cut right here. So hit C on keyboard, 
and cut. I'm going to zoom in some more. Um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to hold option and duplicate this, drag this up. Next, we're going to go to the effects control and I'm going to create this four point polygon mask. Um, you can't see anything now because we haven't done anything to it. So I'm just going to drag this and I'm going to make this like at an angle or like a diagonal angle. Just make sure you drag it out past the actual frame. And what we're going to do now is we're going to increase the size, scale this up to say like 175. If I go back and play this back, you can see how it kind of scales it up. And it's a harsh line, so I don't want that harsh line. So what we're going to do to fix that is go to your mask feather and just increase this until it's some it's somewhat faded out. Don't overdo it. I think that's kind of weird in my opinion. This mean that's not right or wrong way, but I'm not going to overdo it. I would say like maybe 175, 176 is fine. It looks good and boom. And see how it kind of, whenever he's on the right side of the frame, he's kind of zoomed in, which is pretty cool. And if you want to make this pop out a little more, what you can do is you can go to your effects control or your effects tab and type in Gaussian blur and then drag this over onto the clip that you duplicated. Um, scroll down and you can increase the blurriness. So I'll say like somewhere around 10 and then go back and play it back. It's kind of blurry, which looks pretty cool. My camera just shut off because it reached the time limit, but I'm not sure exactly where I was in this. So um, <laughs> I guess I was talking about, yeah, the blurriness. So um, you add that Gaussian blur and it kind of makes it a little blurry on that side that has the mask. And if you don't want this to like um, pop right into it, if you want it to kind of gradually fade into that, that scaled up portion, what you can do is go to the clip that was duplicated that has the mask on it. What you want to do is make a keyframe. So um, I would say maybe like 10 frames so or 15 frames. So like I said, hold shift and just go to the right. One, two, three, which is 15. Make a keyframe right here and then go back to the beginning and just make this zero or I'm sorry, not zero. Make it 100, which is the original. And then if you play it back, it gradually makes its way into that scale position. So it doesn't jump right into it. Kind of depends on like whatever you shoot or like it kind of depends on the song. So if the song was like kind of upbeat and it was like a crazy hi-hat or a snare, I probably would want it to jump right into it. But if you kind of wanted it to gradually make its way to that scale position, then this is how you would do it. And also the same thing for the, um, for that Gaussian blur. And then if you want to do the same thing for the end, so say I wanted to cut it right here. I'm gonna hit C on my keyboard and cut that and then delete. Hit V for the selection tool. Um, I want to have this gradually fade out just as the way I had it in the beginning. Uh, so I'll go back right here. What you can do to make this easier so you don't have to like retype this stuff in, you can just click this keyframe right here Hold option and then just duplicate it and drag it out and do the same for the beginning. And then now if it gradually goes back down and then do the same thing for the Gaussian blur. So I'm gonna click this, hold option on my keyboard, duplicate this, do the same, hold option, duplicate, or I'm sorry, if I'm confusing you, you hold option and you click and then just that's how you duplicate it. So now when you go back and play it at the end, the Gaussian blur fades out as well. So and that is the zoom feather effect or whatever you want to call it. I want to call it a zoom um, or a zoom mask feather, zoom feather. But that's how you do this effect, which is pretty cool. And like I said, this does look best when the entire frame is filled by the artist or whatever you're filming. So just keep that in mind. I mean, it can work if you're like wider but I think this does look best when the artist or whatever subject is filled within the frame. So keep that in mind if you're trying to make this effect.
All right, guys, that's going to wrap up this tutorial. Um, we discussed how to do the flicker effect, the flash, um, ghosting, and the zoom feather, however you want to call that last one. I'm not sure what to call that last one, but uh, flicker, flash, ghosting, and the zoom feather. So hopefully this tutorial is going to help a lot of you guys out um, with some cool different effects within Premiere Pro without using any external plugins. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video or want to see a part two, head down to the comment section and let me know. Or just give me feedback and let me know how this tutorial was, if you guys enjoyed it. Or like I said, if you want to see a part two, another music video effects part two tutorial, I will be sure to do that for you guys. So, um, what's, I'm thinking something else to say. Um, I think I'm aggressive. That was real good. But yeah, that is going to wrap up this tutorial for today. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it to be informational to you, hit the like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you're into like uh, music videos, behind the scenes, vlogs, creative content, all that good stuff, camera reviews, unboxings, this is where you want to find that kind of content. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. Bye.